Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ, and in this tutorial, we'll look at one of the main PayPal errors that our customers have been seeing recently. So this error, when it occurs, will pop up on your screen after hitting a Buy Now button, or within one of the PayPal steps after you hit that Buy Now button, and it will say things don't appear to be working at the moment, please try again later. If you're watching this video tutorial, most likely you've ran into this error on your own website or on a website that you're trying to purchase an item from. So there's five main reasons that this error will occur. The first being the error is caused by your PayPal settings. The second being you have entered your PayPal details incorrectly into the settings menu of a plugin. The third is that you have conflicting plugins on your website. The fourth, your PayPal account has not been set up correctly. And lastly, you do not have a PayPal business account. So that one there is mainly for the merchant. And we'll discuss how merchant can fix this error on their website. The first reason that this error may be occurring on your website involves us jumping onto our PayPal account and checking out our PayPal settings. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that step now. I've now arrived in my PayPal account where I'll ensure my website encrypted payments has been disabled. If this feature is enabled, this can sometimes lead to that error occurring on your website. So we'll just make sure that's disabled as our first step in ensuring that error no longer occurs. So once you're in your PayPal account, just click on that little cog icon at the top there. That'll bring you to the My Profile page. Then you'll need to click on Selling Tools and you'll need to find the word Website Preferences. Click the Update button for that. That'll take you to this page here and you'll need to scroll down to the Encrypted Website Payments section. Just ensure that the off has been checked. If it's on like this, just ensure that you then click off. So that'll bring us to our next step. If you're still seeing that error on your website after turning encrypted website payments off. If you're still seeing that error message and you've gone ahead and just completed that turning off of encrypted website payments, ensure that if you have a plugin that you're using to accept your PayPal payments, that you have entered your PayPal details correctly. If you've entered any of the details incorrectly, such as your PayPal email address, the result may be that error. If you've checked them and everything is good, you may have conflicting plugins on your website. Ensure that the plugin you're using is up to date and is maintained by a developer. You may need to contact the developer of the plugin if this error persists. Going ahead forward, if your PayPal account has not been set up correctly, this error may appear. We're sorry things don't appear to be working at the moment, please try again later. If you see that error, please just jump on your PayPal account and check out your notifications. Usually if something hasn't been set up correctly, you'll have a notification directing you to complete a certain step that needs to be configured. If you've checked out your PayPal account and you don't see any errors, it may be that your PayPal account is not a business account. So you will need to have a PayPal business account to use that as your merchant account to accept payments for goods or services on your website. So you can actually go to your PayPal account and in the settings, it'll tell you if you've got a business account or a personal account. If you have a personal account, you can upgrade to a business account for free. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on just discussing why that error may occur on your website if you're accepting PayPal payments. Hopefully it's helped you out a little bit to resolve why that error is occurring on your website. If you have any further questions or queries, we advise that you contact PayPal directly, or you can read a bit more about these errors on PayPal's website. 